Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular short video, I am going to discuss one very important interview question related to Apache Kafka and the question is how different messages get distributed among multiple partitions in a Kafka topic when you pass no key, when in the message key is null. Then in that case, how the messages get distributed among multiple partition in a topic. So first I will discuss the simple approach and then we will try to understand the drawback of it and how using another optimized approach we can overcome the drawbacks that also we are going to discuss today in this particular video. Okay. So let's first discuss the simplest approach and that is suppose here we are having our Kafka producer here. The producer is consuming some messages from some real time source system. Suppose the messages are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are different set of messages. Okay. From real time source, the messages are coming in Kafka producer. And here in right hand side, we are having multiple partition. So let's consider we are having total 5 partition. Okay. So here I can draw the partition for that same topic. Suppose this is P0, this is P1, this is P2, this is P3 and here we are having partition 4. Now how the messages get distributed in simple manner? One approach we can follow round robin fashion. First message when the producer will consume from real time source it will publish in partition 0. Okay. So here message 1 is coming. Then the second message will go to next partition. Right. Third message will go to next partition. Fourth message will go to next partition. Fifth message will go to next partition. Sixth message, there is no more partition remaining. So again, it will go to the first partition. And then here, our sixth message, it will be publishing. So this is our simple round robin fashion. When the key is null, then in that case, Kafka can follow the simple round robin approach to distribute the messages among different partition. So first it published to partition 0, then the broker need to send to partition 1, then it need to send to partition 2, like that each time the next partition in round robin manner whatever it will be getting there it will be publishing. So in this particular approach you can easily understand that there are two major drawbacks. Number one is it is more time consuming process because one message I am publishing in one partition, the next message I am publishing in some other partition, like that I am going. So individual messages are getting published in different different partition. So obviously there is some time it is getting consumed which we can feel from this particular diagram itself. And the point two is to the broker this is a big task. Right. Broker need to handle lot of other important activity also. Now here in this case what broker is doing. Broker need to individually send the message in different different partition in which earlier it sent after that it will send to the next partition if it is finished it will go back to the beginning and then publish the messages again in round robin manner so with respect to cpu utilization if you consider from broker point of view then also it is little expensive process right so how kafka optimized the message distribution process among multiple partition when the key is null that let us try to understand okay so to understand that you should have a clear idea on Kafka producer internals which I already discussed in our previous video. Only the first part I will just give a recall that here the messages are continuously getting published by the producer. In the first block the producer is serializing the messages the value part and the key part if it is available. Then here it is computing the partition and then here it is batching the records. Okay. So one single message producer never publish in our Kafka topic or partition. It batch the record. There are two properties if you recall already we discussed that is one is batch dot size another one is linger dot ms okay whatever condition will be satisfied first based on that one batch will complete and that batch might have multiple records that the producer will try to write in our Kafka cluster right so in this particular case suppose we are not passing the key with our messages that is the key is null then in that case to optimize the message distribution among partitions and to make certain system in which broker will be getting less burden to do this kind of partition computation. What we can do that all the messages within a particular batch we can publish to one partition. Okay. That's the optimized approach. So what we do in this particular approach. Let me just show you. First let me erase all these things. So here. If you see, we are having input messages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we are having our Kafka producer. 
and here in the right hand side we are having our Kafka partition 0 to partition 4 that is total 5 partitions are there right now suppose here in producer internally the batch is getting created right messages are continuously coming suppose based on batch size or linger ms the first batch what is created is 1 comma 2 comma 3 that is first 3 messages completed one particular batch then what the producer will do it will publish this particular batch in partition 0 ok so here 1 comma 2 comma 3 will come right now what will happen the next batch 4 comma 5 comma 6 suppose by accumulating all these 3 messages the next batch is created and that creation of batch is completely happening based on either batch size or linger ms maybe any of these condition is satisfied whenever these 3 messages get accumulated so we are saying that one batch is complete so this batch the producer will write in next partition like that way what is happening in this particular approach that the producer is sticking to only one particular partition for a particular batch of messages ok it is not distributing multiple messages within same batch in different different partition like our round robin fashion so that way this is little bit more optimized with respect to time if you see here the complete batch it is writing in one place only it is not writing in different different place so obviously with respect to time it is faster than our earlier approach and not only that if you consider the cpu utilization with respect to broker that also less in this particular approach because here broker is not computing much thing once the batch is created internally it is just publishing that's all okay anyway batch is created always in the kafka producer as per the internal architecture right so the same batch it is writing all together in one single partition so that's why this particular approach also termed as sticky partitioning why sticky partitioning because our broker is stick to only one particular partition for one particular batch writing right it is not switching to multiple partitions so this sticky partition nowadays the kafka backend follows if you are not passing any key with our messages and it is better than round robin with respect to cpu utilization and also with respect to latency if you consider this particular architecture will be having low latency or low delay compared to round robin right that's why because of these two advantages this approach is followed nowadays i hope you got it in interview the question can be asked like this way that how the messages will be distributed when there is no key passed with the messages or maybe it can be asked like this way also directly that what is sticky partitioning in kafka and what is the advantages of sticky partitioning over round robin distribution right i hope you understood this if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching